Dr. Lucy Jones is that very rare scientist so adored for her commitment to her craft that she unintentionally has become a, a bit of a celebrity. She is famous for her knowledge. And now the former Caltech seismologist has a new book filled with fascinating facts about the world's most important disasters. And I sit down and talk to her about the big ones in this Eyewitness News exclusive. Um, we've got a very large earthquake going here. At any given moment, disaster can strike. We've seen it, we've felt it, from water to fire to the earth moving, and when it does... This one is very close in location to the Newport Inglewood Fault, and it's consistent with motion on it. Dr. Lucy Jones has been there for us for years, telling us what is happening, how bad it is, and giving us the science behind it. Well, today she is retired from Caltech and is now an author, putting her vast knowledge about the world's disasters in a book called The Big Ones. So each chapter I tell the story of a different catastrophic disaster in human history, uh, starting from Pompeii 2,000 years ago up through the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. She reminds us of disasters long forgotten, a volcano in Iceland that killed millions, yes, millions, and the worst disaster in California history, so bad, it bankrupt the state. I look at what happened, use my ability to explain science simply to help people see it as a scientist would, but then also look at what it tells us about human nature. We often say disasters bring out the best in us, but she has found that hasn't always been the case. We need help! Don't want to die like this. But it's pretty disturbing. Um, really looking at the depth of racism in, in, in the United States and how it played out in both the 27 floods and, the, and in Hurricane Katrina. That, it was hard to look at the ugliness of human beings. It's an honest examination where we have been, but also where we are headed. Remember the 2011 tsunami? We were watching in real time as the tsunami moved over the Sendai Plain. So we have a more visceral connection to these disasters elsewhere in the world. And that allows us to believe that we are also at risk and it's worth acting on. By acting, she means do something now, like build better buildings before the disaster strikes, as opposed to reacting afterwards. What I hope people get out of this is to recognize the inevitability of the disasters, but also empowering them to do something about it. Dr. Jones is busy. She also has a nonprofit called the Dr. Lucy Jones Center for Science and Society, and she's a captivating speaker. So if you want to attend one of her talks about the big ones, go to abc7.com and we will link you to her website and her schedule.